Any questions? Is this your first time here? Oh, what's your name? Martha. Martha? Martha. Martha. How, how did you hear about us, Martha? Oh, my daughters. Oh, those are your daughters? Yeah. Oh, a mess. <laughs> 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 Welcome, Martha. Any questions or comment about anything? No, I'm just uh, interested in what um, everyone's talking about. Speaking to the mic for me. I'm just interested on, it's interesting. It's amazing. What do you think about what you've heard so far? Any question about that? What you've heard so far? Um, well, I haven't forgiven my mother. <laughs> you have not? No. And why not? I've never thought about it. Yeah, I understand that. Most people don't think about forgiving their mothers. They've been told, oh, you need to forgive your father, but they don't know it's the mother that brings the hell in. And now that you know, will you forgive her? Yes. I'll try, yeah. I will. You try? I will because, I mean, because I want to. All right. You know. Ha were you surprised to find out you screwed your daughters up? Yes. You were surprised to find yes. out? And why were you surprised to find that out? Because we really don't talk about it. No. You know, you just, you just go with, you know, what's going on in that house. Um, yeah. And um, you don't realize, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot, shoot. <laughs> but yeah, I was surprised. Yeah. And so when your daughter went to you and forgave you, how did you deal with that? Um, I listened, and uh, I was um, surprised. Um, I was thankful, but at the same time, I wasn't proud of what I've, you know, done. I understand that. And did you forgive your father for not protecting you from your mother? Mm. Well, my dad's no longer with us, but no. Well, when you, if you start working on yourself, you're going to realize that he couldn't help himself. He was afraid of your mother. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid of my mother. <laughs> yeah. Every human being is afraid of their mother. Yeah. <laughs> and every human being hates their mothers. And that's why they're afraid. And the devil tells them, oh, your mother did the best she could. You got to hurt a feeling if you forgive her. She got to get mad if you forgive her. And they think that that's love. They think that that's God, but that's evil. But you got to face her. Mm -hmm. Shake her into your boots. Yeah, no, I mean, I faced her a little bit, but not like the way, you know, you guys are talking about it. But You got to go all the way in. Yeah. I've, I've given like little things, but, you know, she's my mother. <laughs> she's your what? She's my mother. You Meaning know? what? Huh? Huh? She's my if, mother, if so I'm, I'm, huh? I'm going to love her, you know, I mean. To what? I'm, I'm going to love her, but I, I hear that, you know, we don't love nobody. You don't love your mama. <laughs> you hate I've your mama. I've learned that today. Did you think you loved your mother? I sure did, yes. Why did you think you love her when you had not forgiven her? Just the feeling, the feeling I, I feel, she feels something inside me. Hell, and, that's uh, hell. Well, I, I must love it. Yeah, you do. Most people love their hell. But those feelings you have for mama is hate, and guilt, and all that kind of stuff. The good feeling is hate, and the bad feeling is hate. None of it love. But when you go and face her, God said, before you enter into the kingdom of heaven, you must go and forgive. You're not going to get in until you go and forgive, right? And so when you go and forgive your mother, God will forgive you. Don't ask her forgiveness because people don't forgive. That's why God said, when we forgive them, he will forgive us. And then you enter into the kingdom, and that's when amazing things will start to happen. Mm -hmm. But you got to face her shaking in your boots, and the devil going to try to talk you out of it. Don't listen to the devil. He's there. Mother, I'm sorry for resenting you. You are a mess. And I resent you. I realize now you can't help yourself. Once you see it clearly. And you're going to be shaking in your boots. The devil going to be talking to you. But you'll walk away free. You really will. Because they did the best they could. They couldn't help themselves. But if you want to be free, you got to do it. And they realize your father, men end up marrying the woman they hate. They hate their mothers, so they end up marrying their mothers. 
and the cycle repeats itself. The wife become the mama, and the, and the, the, the husband become the boy. And they, they screw up their kids each generation. So you got to face her. Mm-hmm. Did you know you had a white baby? Did I know what? You have a white baby. No. Yeah, you had a white child. You thought I was Mexican. That one over there. <laughs> it's my fault, yes. <laughs> you were with a white man. You thought I was a Mexican. Does she look white? She does. Yeah? And, and Yeah, and it's our fault that we didn't, I mean, we forget that we know another language, so we don't, we, we just go about life and it's like, oh man, you know, you didn't teach your kids that second right. language, so. Amazing. Yeah. Well, forgive your mother and be still and know God. Do the silent prayer. All that hooping and hollering prayer, Lord, save me, have mercy, help my mother, bless my dad and bless my mama, is all a waste of time. You're praying to the devil. I want you to do the silent prayer. Just start working on you. Because your daughters are truly working on themselves. You notice a change in them? I've noticed. Um, I've noticed, yes. One of them, but not the other one? One of them's been more vocal than the other. Yeah. And how you like the one that, would you prefer the one that's vocal or the quiet one? The I one like. The shut up. I like, I mean, I want to say I love both of them, but I, I, I guess I hate them. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I love the vocalness. I love the vocalness, even though um, now hearing this, how I've reacted to it. Um, but I love, I want them to talk to me. Yes. Even though it hurt. I just don't know sometimes like how to answer. Or, I mean, I just been, I just been functioning. Right. You know? Every human being just, mm-hmm. uh, just been all like animals, just functioning. Yes. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Well, start working on yourself, all right? Okay. And it's going to be amazing for you. You got to face your mother. I will. I definitely will. I, lo- I yeah, um, I can definitely face my mother, yes. It's easier said than done. Are you married? Uh, I have a partner. What? We're not, we're not married, like, you know. Oh, We've been together with for 26 years, yeah. Really? And do you obey him? No. No wonder you have a partner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like, what is, a, what, what would you consider obeying? Obeying? Okay, well, I mean, I attend to him, but. You atten- you know? Is he handicapped? No, he's not. And I ask him the same thing. <laughs> I throw that at him all the time. <laughs> You're like, get I'm up like, and you get your own water. Feet. You're handicapped. Yes. Uh, do you, are you angry at him? Yes. You are? And why? I mean, I'm angry at everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Absolutely. Well, forgive him for being weak. He can't help it. His mother screwed him up to it. His father did not protect him from his mother. So don't hold it against him. Okay. All right. It's enough to see it, but don't be angry about seeing it, and you'll be fine. All right? That makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. All right. Amazing.